was the Interstellar Radio. Today's day is May 31st, 2020. We have Retro on the line. Greetings. Greetings, good thing. Hello. How's it going? Uh, it's going all right around here. You know, yeah. you know, the warm. Yeah. Not too bad. Okay. Cool. Uh, yourself? Yeah. Um, I'm uh, virus free and fire free. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of fire, even my home, my, my own hometown is having a. Oh. Quite a few fi- fires and. <laughs> <clears throat> Apparently, that's a curfew out now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, imagine there's one. Yeah, mm-hmm. they hit uh, kind of a south or lower income area mm-hmm. of Tampa. And, yeah, it's not good. Yeah, they hit a lot of the uh, Grand Rapids as well up in Michigan. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what they hit. I haven't looked it up. But um, apparently, it, it, it uh, burnt down 100 businesses and destroyed seven cars. <laughs> And it's been lots of people trying to clean it up the next day. So, yeah. And now that the curfew. Yeah. I'm yeah. not sure. Jeez. Okay. All right. You want to get a... Uh... Yeah, we'll go into it. So, you're going to... Uh, it's going to deploy this, right? Uh, yes. The, the, the riots. Yeah. What do you feel on that? I kind of see the energy I get from that is sort of a resistance energy. Um, not from well, it's the people that, like as far as like the elite go, like the shadow elite. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's a lot of play. Um, to kind of a comp- it's on the complicated plan. I generally get a positive vibe when I look at George Floyd, but when I'm looking at the Vibe surrounding all the protests that are outside of New York itself, it seems to be quite negative. Um, again, these protests seem to be the um, I'd say egged on in a way, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or they were kind of pushed out there, the energy's been out there. Um, and Yes, you can have two peaceful protests, but having these riotings that burn down buildings, um, that kind of, uh, I feel like that's been limited in a way. Um, like, energy behind it, it's been pushed. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's in, in people who are acting or intending to, intending to act rationally now are starting to burn buildings that they wouldn't have otherwise done. And it feels like that's been influenced in a way. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I do see a lot of darker uh, beings um, behind it, like reptilian. Um, hold on. I'm seeing an alien type that's behind it as well that I'm not recognizing. Kind of like um, kind of like a, a gargoyle creature. Hmm. Um, or like, um, Smaug, almost. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's like, that's not right. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm looking at the Ring, because the ring, the guy. Sorry. Oh, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Yeah. I don't know what it's called, <clears throat> but yeah. They kind of look like, yeah, like that, um, well, like a hairless dog in a way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. a goblin. Like a, yeah, goblin, yeah. I'm feeling like that kind of energy behind the goblin energy, kind of, it feels like. Yeah. yeah. Or in seeing goblin uh, beings. Um, so yeah, it's connected to goblin beings, it feels like. Um, mm. Negative ones, at least. Mm. One moment. It's actually the way we're living, some of the traumas that yeah. some beings have faced. It looks like it's kind of like. Yeah. It's just kind of like an empathetic link between some of the protesters and these goblin creatures. Um, or there's actually a lot of anger uh, within these goblin creatures as well, just being taken by the protesters and being used as an out. 
Yeah. So it's kind of like an entertainic, entertainic rage kind of connection, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's just steering into it and making it, you know, it's making a fire. Um, start to add more fuel to it. Um, I can feel like as far as uh, loads of energy towards it, it's a bit mixed, what I feel. Uh, I feel like he kind of wants. I see him like he's, he's in the afterlife and he's kind of. He kind of sees why people are angry and it feels like, yes, that energy needs to come out. It needs to come out as well. But um, that's his own. You know, people are traumatized by the police. Um, but at the same time, he still kind of recognizes it may be a bit too far and it feels like it's kind of undecided in some extent. But generally, I get the feeling that he is wanting more healing to come. And this is maybe a, a form of healing if it's a bit extreme. But I feel like yeah, some people see this as the only way for healing to come is to re- react in this way. Mm-hmm. So I do feel like a conflict of energy that mostly taught to the from him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it's just conflicted, but yeah, mostly positive. I'd say yeah. <clears throat> yeah, of course it's it's uh. He kind of wishes the people to be kind of healing each other or working on creating healing in the community so rather than destroying it. But I, um, I see he's working with his relatives, it seems like, an older woman. Mm-hmm. Uh, that brings healing, you know, um, not, not necessarily a religious connection. But something like that. Um, but yeah, he is trying to. He, he, I think he does kind of empathize with people who are, who are writing, but it's also trying to create more of a long term healing effect that doesn't lead to as much violence. But he's not condemning it either. That's just the vibration I get from him, that's the thing I'm getting from him. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> But yes, I do. I do get a feeling from him, like this has actually been agreed upon. Yeah. Uh, this is a sort of contract that has been set in place for actually quite a while. Um, in Nashville, it's already been, he, the, the police officer that did this, and the and uh, uh, he and Tim South have been agreeing on it to. Hold on, I'm getting blocked in this. Hold on a moment, sorry. Yeah. Yes, I do think there was sort of a agreement in Astral beforehand, and it's been planned in advance in Astral. Uh, mm. This is just part of the mission. Um, again, it is to help the communities, help uh, bring more peace to particularly African American communities and and uh, impoverished communities. I also, I also feel some sort of uh, tenderness energy there too. Um, um, yeah, particularly he is sort of a, a grounding and sort of uplifting compassion energy there. Um, I don't think, I don't see him as the kind of person who would do rioting himself, but he doesn't condemn them. Mm. So, any questions? Oh yeah, it feels like I mean, it feels like that cop wasn't trying to kill him or anything. Just, just accident or whatever it was. No. One moment. <clears throat> Sorry, one moment. Um, it definitely wasn't just the police officer alone that, that, that I do believe he had entities that, entities that are attached to him. Um, most police officers do 
they a lot of the criminals, uh, you, you know, like your high-profile murderers, um, and your rapists, they, they have a, they kind of have a similar, not the same injury, but they're similar kind of influences that some of the police do have. Um, and that can kind of cause that can kind of cause some to go overboard if they're not watching themselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> they're kind of inflicted by the same kind of demon, so to speak. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yes, it would. I would say in a in a in a vacuum, this officer may not have done what he did, but he was. I do see at least three or four potential demons around him. Yeah. Or I say demons; it could be any kind of entity that's yeah. training, yeah. one thing. Yeah. Um, they do seem like shadowy creatures. Uh, even you know, even your uh, goblins. I see a goblin with like a, like a you know, it's like aqua, like uh, uh, aquarium. Uh, sorry, they have ears that kind of have like a thin structure to them. <clears throat> One moment. <sighs> the games at the protests. It should not have gone as far as it has. Uh, it could have stayed around Minneapolis or Minnesota, but again, it's a lot of um, a lot more of like, an explosive uh, environment in Nashville as well. It allows other entities to kind of get rid of their rage in a way. It's they add their own fuel to the fire. You know, there's all kinds of uh, forces. They're adding their own fuels to the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I'm seeing kind of goblin energy around them. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Any other question? No, no, we can go to the next topic. Okay. Topic. okay. okay. So you want to do the virus again? Oh, yeah, it is really short, whatever. You, if anybody cares anymore. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um, I'm actually taking more of an immunity around it, too. Mm-hmm. Um, what I'm getting or getting told is sometimes the, the virus is it's present in a very weak informed as well, like in, in, in the wild. So there's lots of people, people who've had it uh, that may not have known about it or they may, may have thought it off in a faster way already. So there may be a slight benefit to it. There might be a slight uh, immunity going forward, mm-hmm. but it's still likely to be people who are affected, people with compromised immune systems. Um, I'm actually seeing pregnant mothers as well might be having some issues with it. Mm-hmm. Um, and they throw them their systems out of the loop already, like their hormone systems. Um, I'm not saying exactly what. To... Yeah, something to do with the breathing problems in pregnancy. It's still, it's still a threat to pregnant women, what I'm getting. Um, what is it? I mean, how many months do you feel like this is going to be a a big deal about that? A big deal? Um, it's hard to say. In the United States, in the, in the U.S. alone, it feels like possibly under three more months. Mm-hmm. Three or four. Um, but it could be... 
some places may have it may have it all through the winter. Mm. Um, but the U.S. alone builds like a three or four month thing. Yeah. So that's like uh, what's almost uh, almost June, right? So. Yeah. September, October. September, October, yeah, October ish. Um. But the 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 rides though, I feel like that's gonna like what time frame you feel with that? The right time frame two weeks. Um, okay. Well, at least in an intensity, it, it's at now. Mm -hmm. I, I do see it staying in, in the next two months to start the memory of it. Mm -hmm. Um. But after I'd say two months, the consciousness has largely moved past it to some degree. Mm -hmm. um, it won't always be entirely forgotten, of course, but it would be kind of the same way we think of Ferguson. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> you think it's going to erupt again? Um. I am seeing during the election time that may happen. Um, well, maybe not particularly with this one uh, situation in, the, in particular, but I do see around election time and they had another spike. Uh, not actually at election time, but slightly before it, I'm feeling. So, October. Uh, mm -hmm. Possibly into November, but I'm feeling October, November. You may find another uptick in, if not our rioting, you may find more demonstrations. <clears throat> mm -hmm. okay. One moment. I'm actually seeing there's more peaceful demonstrations coming in the next year. As in 2021, 2022, I'm seeing a lot more peaceful demonstrations. Um, you may start to see some happening every couple of months, you know, um, but they may not be as uh, intense as they had been. Mm -hmm. So the frequency increases, but the intensity may die down a bit. Okay. <clears throat> One moment. Okay. I actually do see that being very strong alien influences. Um, a bit of Zeta, but also positive goblin creatures as well. Mm. Um, <clears throat> One moment. Sorry. One moment. I'm having kind of an OCD, OCD day, uh, mentally speaking. Yeah, that's right. At the ground. I just see the Pleiadians also there as well. Um, they have some influence. Of course, they're a bit more in the background. Um, generally, you know, Pleiadians and, and Nord Nordic beings, um, or the more Nordic Pleiadians, I do see them more in the background, of course, because they're, um, again, it is sort of a connection with it is a big connection to it, like European um, heritage. Um, you know, Nazis and the uh, uh, Vril witches, right? Uh, for example. Um, so you may see, I'm getting the, a bit more of the background. You may have different bands of Pleiadians, more in the foreground than others. But I do see more of like a Zeta influence. Um, 
as well. Uh, just kind of calming things down. Okay. Do you feel that as well? Yeah. yeah. Like, I played in the injury is there, but they're uh, not as strong as, like, the Zeta. The Zeta mm. is more like an outsider. Uh, then they had more of their then they have more of a connection to different um hold on. Then they have more of an equal connection with people who are also culturally speaking outsiders, um, or minorities. Um, so maybe easier the energy might be more accepted. Mm -hmm. That's what I try to say. Um whereas a plate energy can be accepted in some ways that other ways it's might be a bit dicey here and there. Mm -hmm. That's the relation to get from that. Um, <clears throat> do you see that coming too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Any questions? No, you want to go? Yeah, I was going to SpaceX. SpaceX, yes. Uh, yeah. Let me uh, look it up. Uh, one moment. Sorry. Yes, they uh, recently embarked on the International Space Station, yes? Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. Hmm. I feel there's your connection to this, or Israeli connections. Yeah. Um, I feel like um, Elon Musk may have some connection to, his, connection to Israel, or maybe um, his wife does. Mm -hmm. But I do some sort of Israel connection there. Um. <clears throat> I actually do see a lot more like an Israeli influence on the space station itself. Um, or there's going to be more from Israel, uh, Israeli presence on the space station. Um, so I do see them kind of working with the state of Israel uh, in their own, own space endeavors as well. And then they had been kind of a secret sponsor in that. Um, yeah. And seeing like Israeli documents. Hmm. Um, And, and there's also some science, the science that may be on there, that then asked for by Israeli uh, government or organizations in Israel. One moment. <clears throat> I also see they're monitoring the sun as well. Um, with new technology to it's not just you know the, the sun has its own uh, um, solar flares and hot spots right well there's also hot spots in astral or in different dimensions and it's, there's tools they can use to measure that uh, so there's like like astral layouts too that can be measured <clears throat> Any questions about them in particular? Though? No, about the connection with the space launch and the fires that are going on right now. Connection to the space launch um, and fires, let me see. Or riots, whatever. I think we get the impression of actually missiles, uh, missile research. Or do we switch into incendiaries that this is itself so when they have the other connection? Um, I'm having a difficulty finding any direct correlation, but maybe they're both part of the same broader connection. But 
One moment. Um, again, I don't really see a connection either. All I do see there's different hot spots that are connected to each other. Um, as far as the protests go. I mean, it's all, I mean, it's the timing of it all. Yeah, um, again, it seems like it's kind of like bringing more energy in, which creates the protests as well. Yeah. Uh, the the places that the protests are happening are being more connected to different realities as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it is kind of creating its own rippling effect, and I do see that the it could be connected to the sun as well. The sun's um, astral flaring up, so it could be connected in some ways, uh, monitoring it. But I do not see particularly a causational uh, element there. It's more potentially monitoring the situation, monitoring the astral or universal um, flux, or the timeline shifts. Because mm-hmm. I do feel like these, like uh, Minneapolis, uh, Tampa, Grand Rapids, for example, I do see them, and it, the, the energy is sort of opening up in a way. It's, it's flaring out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I feel like it's connected more to the sun more than SpaceX itself. Mm-hmm. SpaceX may be having a hand in monitoring that solar activity. Um, but I don't see SpaceX connected to anything particularly causationally. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Los Angeles, low vibrational mm-hmm. areas are yeah. purging themselves. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, there's a kind of a, a grid network too, I, or crystalline grid kind of way. Um, where these are connected, and it's very re- reactive uh, to the sun. Um, <clears throat> anything else? No, it's no, it's go to Richard Branson. Oh yeah, that's all right. Richard Branson. Hmm. Apparently he's knighted. So it looks like. And I do feel that there too. Um... He's been on this earth many times. Uh... And he, like he's in like a he's been in England. Um, he's connected to England in different lifetimes as well. Uh, mostly classical England, like the Seven Kingdoms. It's in, like, south of England. Mm-hmm. But he's also been working on this uh, Earth as well as... um. He does, he does still very alien as well. Yeah. Um, I actually feel like some kind of connection to Monty Python. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> like, I feel like he's in, like, a Monty Python universe. Hmm. Or, um, you know, there's the. Yeah. What's that? We English. Yeah. Uh, Very English. Mm-hmm. Uh, and not just, uh, this world's version of England at all. Hmm. Um, so. Yes, yeah, so I do see he's got in Nashville. He does work with a lot of different uh, alien uh, groups, different extraterrestrial groups. So he, he's kind of got a full plate from what it looks like. Mm-hmm. That's why he's going into all these industries. It's 
uh, he he does have kind of an ego to himself, but at the same time, he's getting all this uh, this these business industries, these opportunities, um, and it kind of comes from more of an alien origin or a mm-hmm. higher origin. <clears throat> hmm. But yes, I do see him quite attached to England as in different national forms, and he helps a lot to see him in uh, UFOs as well. Um, yeah, I can kind of, I just kind of see him like. Sitting kind of cross legged and like a Vader crossed, kind of crowded in there. He's also like smoking a cigar, um, huh. smiling. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any particular questions about him though? No, just whatever you can get on him, whatever you pick up from. Him. That's all. Not really. I'm seeing a pyramid connection. Like, it's a pyramid, uh. Like, there might be a pyramid underneath the offices in, in England, uh, somewhere in London. There might be, like, an underground pyramid there. Hmm. Hmm. Possibly. Um. Again, it's kind of like an energy source. It's sort of, uh. Mostly in Nashville, but there are fragments of it in the physical as well. Mm. But there is, like, tearing of energy underneath England, particularly the southern England. Yeah. But uh, Agartha connections. <clears throat> yes, um. Well, Stonehenge is arguably connected to Agartha as well. Yeah. Um, I do see like a portal to Agartha, particularly in Scotland. Um, there are a lot more uh, Agartha energies in Scotland that maybe you'll ignore. Because in Ireland, there is a like, greater knowledge of what's there. Um, but again, there's something in Scotland there that's a little bit more uh, quiet. Um, it's used. It's less heard of, there's less awareness of it, but it's more active because of that. So there are um, more agarthic energy um, connections within Scotland. Not even in the Highlands itself, but in the lower southern Scotland as well. And along the border. Northern England too, Wales. Um, Wales particularly as well. Because uh, Wales kind of has, a, has its own energy to it. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of got like a timeless sort of energy that kind of keeps... It's always been connected to Agartha quite strongly. Um, it's been connected to the like, mythical uh, realm. It's sort of, uh, even to this day, it's more of an agrarian um, nation. Mm-hmm. And it kind of keeps, it sort of keeps its own identity in that way. So, of course, there are some like, agarthic intonation in Wales, um, you know, particularly in the mountains. Um, even the sheep there, um, you know, the adaptation for sheep uh, herding. Mm. There is a lot of intonation in sheep um, within the mountains. Uh, there's lots of older information, Agarthic information in Wales. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. All right. How about um, going to Hong Kong? Oh, yes. Yeah, so Hong Kong podcasts in China. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Hmm. So apparently there's been a bit more drama between uh, Hong Kong and China in the United States. Um, apparently Trump is trying to sort of let go of some support for Hong Kong. Hmm. Um, 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 <clears throat> the feeling I get from Hong Kong itself, yes, of course, it, I do feel that eventually they will be taken into mainland China. Hmm. I, um, but it will actually have a backfiring effect on them. No. I see Hong Kong being more of an influence than, uh, the Chinese government may anticipate. <clears throat> Again, because they, there is a lot of resistance to becoming a part of China. They may see this resistance coming into other groups like the Uyghurs, um, the Tibetans. You may see more of um, this resistance energy kind of buffering or Story. And they have a grander influence on China than they may have anticipated, is what you can say. Or as the, the energies that come from Hong Kong are going to change China. It's going to cause some idea to come around uh, secretly that call the, into question the, the legitimacy of the Chinese government. You may see more milk in China because it, it demands two people there. <clears throat> so you can kind of think, uh, you know, of course they're joining the ship, but the ship will have a mutiny, you know? Yeah. So, in a sense, and if uh, Hong Kong is integrated in China, there's going to be a mutiny at some point, is what I'm feeling. When do you think that's going to happen for the Hong Kong going into China? Um, legally speaking, it may be hard to tell the different potential timelines, but effectively speaking, within the next few years, um, by 2025, maybe, um, China is going to keep its grip on Hong Kong as much as it can, of course. Um, but legally speaking, it's going to be a bit more difficult to say. But still, Hong Kong will have sort of a um, a poison pill effect, so to speak, on the Chinese government. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, in fact, what I'm feeling like the the energies in Hong Kong in the Nature's linked to China don't really fit in together. Um, the energy's kind of clash. The cities in China, they have sort of an emptiness to them, which they had a different character. A lot of um, wider spaces, uh, the same building, kind of gray. Uh, and it kind of has like sort of emptiness to it. Um, Again, because China is such a, a shut down place, um, it, it's mm-hmm. insular, it's very controlled. Whereas um, Hong Kong itself, it, the energy is going to be night and day. So it's going to be hard for China to really integrate Hong Kong and in, before Hong Kong integrates China. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's going to be prior riots and resistance. Oh that. yeah, the the you may see, you know, um, more of the travel between the mainland China and Hong Kong itself, uh, and you may see uh, mainlanders taking up new ideas. Yeah. So. <clears throat> One moment. Yes, that's the kind of relation of getting it. The, the, the mainland Chinese can tell who is a Hong Kong, who's, who is a Hong Konger. 
for the other three, hmm. that's what I'm feeling. No. But there's a pretty strong difference between the two. Yeah, but. Um. One moment. I actually see more of the female leadership in China in the future. Hmm. 2030s. Feeling like there might be a potential for female leadership. That's good. Yeah. They actually might even beat up the United States on that front. Uh, it's our president. You know, yeah. You know, it's our yeah. Well, I see China more in space also around that time. Yeah. Yeah. The more China wants to expand, the harder it's going to be to keep, to keep it as the way it is. Uh, China, when it wants to expand into space or expand into Hong Kong, it's going to have to kind of have an adjustment to it. it it's not going to be easy to maintain what it, what it is right now. It's not going to be able to maintain its uh, insular, pseudo-communist um, state. It's going to it's going to have to kind of soften up. It's going to have to embrace new ideas. Um, it it cannot survive in its current condition. So I feel like it, it, what I'm doing is there's going to be a necessary change in China. It doesn't mean that there won't be still a, a dominant power or even an aggressive one, but those are changing. They're modernizing, they'll be more open. Um, there will be less human rights violations. Um, so you might look forward to a, a modernizing China. We're just still a communist, though? Um, it's hard to say. I would say, luckily, not as much. In some ways, it will be. I've been seeing potentially some socialism, but very minor socialism. Um, in a way, I see it looking more like India. Hmm. But yes, it'll have some. You know, it, it, there'll be some privatized uh, companies that basically act the same way they do now. Um, but I do see less communism, yeah. But more monopolization, um, more monopolies, should say. Hmm. It's a slow road, but yeah. yeah. All right. Well, how about we close it out? Yeah. Anything okay. else? Anything else before we get going? Um, no, I can't think of anything at the moment. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see if uh, if I can connect anything for you. Sure. Yeah. Um, I do see on Agartha. I see like gremlin beings. <laughs> Jeez, gremlin. Yeah, uh, gremlins. You know in the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I see observing, observing things like that. I don't know as a, as a Zeta, like they were like created in a lab and kind of ex- escaped, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, they're part of our mythology now. So, or our um, pop culture. Yeah. So, the gremlin beings came from another dimension, obviously. <laughs> he said it was very similar to, I think it's like a Zeta world that was created. Uh, basically, experiments that went wrong. <laughs> yeah. There's other stuff there, too, but that's the one that came that. Bleated into our reality, you can say. Of course, it they're has kind of, the, They're kind of like pets in a way. Or yeah. But the, was it Quasimodo? What, what is the. I forget the name of the. Gidget or whatever. Anyway, the. The fluffy. Um, you know, the, the cute one. He's there too. Mm-hmm. He's the. Uh, you know, he was like a family pet. Yeah, exactly. Or, you know, not pet, <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And just those things started popping up. The, the gremlin beings started popping up everywhere. No one could figure it out. So it feels like some kind of Zeta 
experimental version of Earth. <laughs> so I see you as there as an observer. <laughs> I don't know if you're. I don't know if you had a lifetime there. But that's up to you <laughs> to see what. Yeah. I don't know if you want to remember that. That's up to you. I'm seeing like the um, Gremlin Thirty. I'm looking right now. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the reason they get them like the Thirties, the Gremlin ones, the Thirties in general are kind of like styles in a way. Yeah. Uh, there's definitely some Zeta influence in the, the Furby toys. Uh, definitely some some influence there. Like, there's actually yeah. a Furby world. Uh, I don't know. I just kind of came to me like the Furby are here watching us. You know, like, oh man, those things are weird looking. I don't think I've ever seen those before. That's freaking hilarious. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I definitely feel there's like a liveness in there. I can definitely see that. <laughs> That's so fucking scary. That's creepy and also adorable all at the same time. <laughs> but there are like actual like a universe with actually living flesh Furbies. But there are Furby robots here that are kind of connected to aliens and so I see a connection to the the, the Furby themselves or Zeta invention as well. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That, those, that one, that experiment went off really a lot better. <laughs> so, yeah, and now they're watching our children, you know. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, that's great. <laughs> Only the experiment. <laughs> jeez, uh -huh. Funny. Yeah. So, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Blessings, everyone. All right, blessings. All right, thanks. All right, take care.